with two. He forces a three. No good. Rebound, Joe Southern wins. And the dogs upset Butler at Butler. The final, Saluki 76, Butler 73. Oh, oh, oh breathe easy. Breathe easy indeed, Mike Reese with the call. It got dicey at the end. Butler had a chance to tie it, but the Salukis prevail. SIU was up once by 18, but it's the final result that counts, and SIU men's basketball is now 6-0, the program's best start to a season since 2003-04. Woo, they look good so far. Hinkle Fieldhouse is not an easy place to win at. In fact, with the victory, SIU snapped Butler's 59-game home winning streak against non-conference opponents. Protecting the basketball stood out to me. SIU didn't commit their first turnover until 427 left in the first half. By that point, the Salukis forced five Butler turnovers and were leading by eight, uh, eight points. With just over 13 minutes left in the half, SIU would close things out on a 26-5 run. That effort set the tone. Salukis would build their 13-point halftime lead up to 18 and defense and crucial shooting got it done stops you know our defense you know if we're able to rebound and finish possessions you know uh, our guys are playing with pretty good pace and transition uh, we got guys that run the floor we got unselfish guys who give it up so we're able to attack in transition but it comes from our defense you know we can't play in transition uh, unless we get rebounds and, and i think we're able to build get some consecutive uh, stops there and, and, and then get out and run i mean we just got shooters trying to hit a couple threes i think db might have hit three other people hit threes and at the end of the day, we pride ourselves in defense. So holding them to five points, that's, that's what we come on and we try to do. We try to expect, we expect to go on runs like that because we, we play defense. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we're not giving up easy buckets and that's what we're going to hold our hat on. And the offense is just going to come. Up next for SIU, Missouri Valley Conference play. Starting Sunday, December 27th at 3 o'clock from inside the Banterra Center. SIU takes on Evansville. They'll play Monday at 5 as well. That's when we start to see more of these back-to-back -back games. Woo, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then how about a score to finish things off? SEMO, they fall to Indiana State in their final non-conference game, 72-66. And that's your sports for now.